Hey guys, the Jimmy Lover here, and if you all saw my other upload of me doing a Q&A, so we are going to be doing a Q&A, and there was a lot of good questions, so yeah, we're going to get to answering them. Here we go. So the pers first person that commented was Haunt Creeper. Shout out to Haunt Creeper, by the way. Uh, he said, how did you come up with the name The Jimmy Lover? Well, the way I came up with the name The Jimmy Lover was, I used to collect... So, my old channel, the Wanda Rogers channel name used to be, I used to only collect Spirit Halloween items, you know. But, they kept breaking, so I decided to start collecting Jimmy items. And, yeah, I just came, like, really into Jimmy items, so that's how I came up with the name of the Jimmy Lover. Okay, um, <coughs> sorry, guys. But, um, yeah, here we go. The What made you come up with the name of the Jimmy Lover, like I said? Oh, shout out to Nathan, the animatronic collector, 456. Congrats on getting 300, by the way. So, even though I already answered the first question for Nathan from Hong Creeper's thing, he has six, he has five more. He, he said, what was the very first animatronic you got? That's pretty hard, though. My first animatronic was... Um, the James Brown. No, not the two behind me. Um, I'll try to... F well, y'all have seen the unboxing. If y'all haven't seen it, go to the playlist on my channel, and it's the first video. So, yeah. <coughs> what is your favorite Jimmy series? Uh, my favorite Jimmy series is probably gonna be, like, the Jimmy Sports... Well, I have two favorite series. The first one's the Jimmy Sports series, and the second one's the Pop Culture, if you can see behind me. And I also do, up there, have a bunch of the Big Heads. I'm, st I'm going to be rebuilding the Big Head Witch soon, guys, so stay tuned for that. What was an animatronic that was hard to repair? Mm, let's see. The hardest Jimmy animatronic... It's a good question. I'll have to... Um, which one was the hardest? A lot of them were really hard. A lot of them were the mouth. But, let's see. Um, I'm trying to remember. Guys, let's see. Uh, I think it might have been my bigger dancing werewolf. Well, no, it was an easy gear replacement. Still working on that raptor catfish still. One thing that was probably the hardest for me was. Oh yeah, this one. So this one was the hardest to repair. Um, this one, guys, needed a complete restoration. Um, I forgot. I, I didn't really feel like doing a restoration video on this one. But this one had a lot of issues. He had a split square shaft gear, a uh, broken 10 tooth gear. The head barely even turned. This is how far it turned. The mouth barely, you know, open and etc. The gears. The gears for the hips were split. And, yeah. What was an animatronic you've always wanted but never got? Hmm. That's a hard one. It's a really hard one. One animatronic that I've always wanted but I never got. This is our work table. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Me and my brother are usually in here all day working on stuff. It's kind of hard to yeah. remember. And then we got like these little things with like, motors and gears and yeah. One thing. Oh, that's cool. Let's see. Who's that? Huh? Oh, and then here are some other fish I put on the wall. Here's the one I brought to school a couple of days. Like, remember the one I was freaking so, to right? I, I fixed think, him by myself. Let's see. Yeah. What you doing, Bouncy? You got your 
Yeah, here's Hank Williams so, Jr. The animatronic Hank Williams. Well, there isn't really an animatronic that, that I've one really dad. wanted. But oh, cool. one thing yeah. I've really wanted to try to find is... I have is, a question. Have you ever heard of Douglas Fir? Is a prototype um, Rock and Randall or so. This is the sample. Yeah, it turns it a different way. So the fifth one was, what is the most rarest item in your collection? Ooh, that's a good one. I think I know the answer to that one. Hold on. Oh, it's on the shelf. Here is the most rarest item I have in my collection. The Milwaukee Brewers, um, Rock and Rock and no, it's Buddy Big League. Uh, I don't think any of them are in existence. I think I'm the only one, because, like, this one has, like, no name. This one has no numbers on the bottom. And, yeah. Needed a mouth repair, you know. I got it off um, Shop Goodwill for a long time. Not a long time ago. But I got a shop. I got it off Shop Goodwill for a couple months ago. Oh. Getting back to that hardest animatronic to repair. Hank Williams Jr., the high pitch one. Oh, my God. If y'all saw the video, the one that the fastest head was. Hang on, let's go to that video. The one I'll have to show y'all. Hold on, I'm going to do it. Oh, something's premiering. Where is that video? And I already have a life size with a with a glitch, the the life size Santa. Dang, where's that? This one. If if y'all have seen this one, that one was the hardest one to repair. I swear to God, that one was literally took me around. Yeah. Well, it would There's break, and then I would have to repair it. Break, repair, break, repair. It usually went on for about five, six months. Yeah. Then I started to scrap it. Here's the Falcons. The Atlanta Falcons. And then I have the Rams for myself. We also have, like, the Buccaneers, the Broncos, and then some, some baseball teams. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's and then for like the Halloween else. stuff, we have a werewolf, a skeleton. And what do you think was size. the hardest item to repair? Like I said, yeah. the high pitch this Hank Williams Jr. Freak by Rick James. Gosh, that one took me around. So, like I said about the Hank Williams Jr., it took me. I would repair it, and then it would last for a, a couple of days, like a day or so, and then all of a sudden it would break. You know. So it usually went on about seven to eight more months of repairs. Oh, what the heck? Okay, that just went weird, but yeah. So, um, I think, let's see. Hmm, just has to be other questions. Maybe, like, someone would ask, like, well, I already know, well, y'all already know what the first ever animatronic was, the Jimmy, you know, animated thing, and, yeah, let's see, what else, there has to be another question that I know, uh, let's see, what there has to be another, there has to be a question I missed. What is your favorite Jimmy series? What was the animatronic you've always wanted but never got? That was the one. That was the one I forgot. Um, let's see. Oh, the one that, one thing, like, it's not, like, this type, but, like, it's a Hallmark, the perfect, the perfect tree. That's the one I really, really have been wanting. But yeah, I haven't been able to find any, you know, things.
What do you think was the hardest item to repair? Mm, like I said, high pitch Hank. But I can do another question. Like, what was the second hardest one? The second hardest one. Well, all of them weren't really that hard. Some of them, the only ones that were kind of hard was the ones I rebuilt. Like, um, Rock and Randall, if you notice in the back. I rebuilt that Rock and Randall on the back, the Buccaneers. I Stay tuned for that, guys, because I probably will be making a review today on that, too. Um, yeah, it works the really... I think it's probably the best working first generation. Well, it's not really first generation anymore, kind of, because... The base I only found was um, a third generation Rock and Randall, and I I was like, because I was trying to rebuild it, you know. Oh yeah, and if y'all notice, oh y'all can't really see it, but if y'all notice, at the end, kind of, I've repaired the Packers. I'll get them. But yeah, I repaired him. As you can see, his head is still is the motor's dead in it still. But um, yeah, that's the only motor I could find for it. And the Red Sox, his head's the same. You know, I used to be our Christmas photo for 2016. What's this head? Yeah. And sorry if the camera's a little because my hands hurt, my hands are like sore. It's cool. From kickboxing. Oh boy. Yeah. I've, I almost I brought, built I almost this time right. I brought the ceiling down once because I kicked the Does punching bag so she, hard. Does she, Does she know I rebuilt stuff for you? Yeah. Oh, God. I yeah. She knows. Yeah. There's one in my other fish I own, Billy Bones. I'm probably just, um, yeah, so, thanks for watching, guys, and, you know, I'll be making a review on this one after this video gets published, so, yeah, go ahead and like and subscribe, comment down below what, like, thing I should do next, should I do another Q&A, or, you know, or should I make a bunch of more reviews, like, if, if you want me to do any more reviews, put the animatronic in the co in the comment section like the one down there or back there you know well that one back that stuff back there but yeah guys thanks for watching um stay tuned for this one so this one and the brewers brewers rocking the brewers buddy big league and what else have i not reviewed Oh, yeah, the big head dancing skeleton in the back. Mm. Probably won't be doing any buddy big leagues. I rebuilt this one. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Um, tell me, guys, what y'all want me to review next, you know, if y'all want me to review anything or do another Q&A. So, yeah, thanks for watching.